Hello Libra, how are you guys doing today? I hope you guys are doing well. If you are new here, I'm Aji and this is Sacred Libra, where we talk all things Libra. Cheers to the freaking weekend. I hope you guys' holiday was amazing. Hope you spent it with the people you love and had a beautiful time. And even if you didn't, I hope you had a good time by yourself. You ate, drank some wine, or you just relaxed. You took your day off, or you made some extra money. Whatever it was, I hope you were in good spirits. Okay, so I was thinking about doing a morning inspo, but I feel like I'm going to do a couple of things here in this reading. So this reading may be long, guys. Um, I do want to go into the crow, um, the urban crow oracle. Also, I know y'all seen. I know y'all seen. I know y'all probably heard my voice on August Alcina's, um real. You know, just know we got we, butterfly gang is all around the world. Okay, <laughs> I don't even think he a Libra. I read for Libras, but <laughs> maybe I need to start doing more <laughs> collective readings. Um, but yeah, I appreciate I appreciate that. Shout out to August Alcina and him walking in his truth because. That's what we're here for, okay? <laughs> love is love. Love wins at the end of the day. Um, let's get right into this reading. <sighs> mm -mm -mm. I'm in such a good mood. In such a good mood, okay? Also, to you guys, I feel like I have to say this. If you guys are DMing me, and I don't respond back. I'm still getting new. Moment of transparency. I'm still new to all of this stuff. Okay. <laughs> and sometimes I do read everything. And I'm like that person who will respond in my mind. And keep going about my day. And I have so many things that I have to answer to. That sometimes I just be like. I'm not answering anything. So I'm working on it. I'm trying to get myself a nice schedule. We talked about that. Like I'm a person who I don't really have a schedule. I've been working on a schedule. Trying to see what things really work for me so don't take it personal it has nothing to do with you at all um it just has everything to do with me and me getting used to this newfound um basically this newfound you know busyness in my life okay so um it just seemed like sometimes i think like once i get it under control it's gonna go back down but the shit just keeps going up so i'm like ah okay so I'm, I'm thankful and I'm grateful to even be busy in that way. But definitely don't take it personal. I'll try to get back to you guys. Do better with that, okay? Try to definitely do better with responding. I'm a shitty texter anyway. So, <laughs> I got a lot to work on, okay? A lot to work on. You call me, we can talk. But don't call me. Don't call me on Instagram, okay? <laughs> no shade. Don't call me, Okay. <laughs> But I'm a better talker than I am a texter, okay? Um, all right, let's get into it. Let's see what the energy is for you, Libra. Let's see what the energy is for you, Oh, I like how that flipped out. Dominance. Who you dominating? Dominance. All right, Dominion. Okay, that's what I'm getting. Dominion, total dominion. Okay, dominance over what? I feel like some of you guys could be releasing control to a certain type of thing. I'm sorry, the recycling truck is outside, if you can hear that. Um, some of you guys could be releasing control to a certain type of thing or a certain area in your life and letting the universe take, take, take control. Because I do see dominance and at the bottom of the deck, I see release. All right, so I feel like some guys could be releasing dominance, or uh, that's what I'm feeling right now releasing dominance, or in a sense, releasing something so you can gain control over something. It says, like all creatures, crows establish a pecking order. And to do so, the strongest bird asserts its power. Dominance indicates that you may be feeling restricted by someone or that a stressful situation is impacting your thoughts and decisions. Someone or something may be flexing their muscle 
which will cause friction within. As you may not be able to fight or defend yourself, this card may represent a boss who makes you work overtime, a partner who always picks the restaurant, or a friend who always has to win. It may also indicate your need to be in control. On a positive note, dominance may indicate your power over something and your ability to control a situation. Okay, so um, there could be somebody stepping out of line. I'm going to see what's going on with this, okay? Tell me more about dominance. I love this deck. If you guys know of any Eagle Oracle decks, please let me know down below. Okay. Balance. Balance is coming out. All right, so you're gaining control over a situation. Okay? Gaining more control, gaining more balance over a situation. Okay? And... um. You're getting your power back. Total dominance. Getting your power back, gaining your, your control. I can see that you're confident. Like, you are just gaining your power back, okay? Definitely gaining your power back, all right? There's a strong bond here or a strong bond with self because we do have balance. When I see balance and I see love, I feel like that has a lot to do with self-love. Okay, yeah, a sacred space. So you are gaining your power back. You're gaining control. Um, you're not letting anybody's false sense of entitlement or false sense of control stop you or bother you. You are 100% balanced, okay? You, you are straight. I like this for us. I love this for us, actually. All right, I'm going to go into the cat deck and pull a couple cards, too. release release i seen that at the bottom of the deck so in order to gain control you got to release control of the things that you can't okay release i feel like in order to live balance you got to release the things or release control to the things that you can't control like trying to control something that you like how other people view you we we can't control how other people view us we can't control if another person's like like us no hold on let me let's wait wait a minute is libra finally saying f them people i don't care if they like me or not libra are you finally saying that i don't care if a person like i don't care what a person has to say are you finally giving up the facade and the image of things how things look you know we love how stuff look and in that in that major action, you're taking control over your life. Are we doing that, Libra? That's what we doing. Congratulations, okay? Congratulations. Are you slowly stepping into your true, authentic self and not giving a what what the world thinks? Tell me more about release. Yes. Yes. <laughs> you happy that's all that matters all that other stuff can go you are happy and that's all that matters for you right now in your life you are happy <clears throat> time to cleanse all right so if things start switching up, you start switching your energy, how much you talk, how much you um, give to other people, how accessible you are, that is not a coincidence, okay? This is happening because you're happy, finally, all right? You may just realize like, wait a minute, I've been extra happy over the last couple of days, or my mood has been a certain type of way over the last couple of days. Look at those cheeks. Somebody's cheeks getting fuller. Or cheeks is always, somebody's cheeks hurt. Or there's a little blush on somebody's cheeks. Look at those cheeks. You're happy. You don't care what the world thinks about you or what somebody may think about you. You're stepping, you're, you're, you're walking in your own truth. You have total, complete 
dominance over an area in your life and you realize that I can control this. That other stuff, I probably can't control. But this, the stuff that I can control, I'm going to step up and I'm going to lead. I was watching my girl Jazz, Hourglass by Jazz. I love her. Um, and she was talking about your higher self was waiting for you to step up and take control over your life. Your higher self is 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 waiting for you to step up and you to be in control of your of your life, not for you to be looking at other people and waiting for them to save you. Like, come on, come save me. And that's Disney. That's Disney's fault. I know. I I I wanted to be a little princess when I was a little girl. Sometimes I still think of myself as a princess, or or it's, it's looking like queen nowadays. Looking like queen, you know. Um. But sometimes we we have that princess complex. Like, I'm waiting for the savior to save me from the big dragon. And the big dragon usually be ourselves. It's our thoughts. All right? It's the things that keep that, that makes us self-sabotage ourselves. It's the negative self-talk, okay? It's it's the um, childhood trauma or the emotional trauma that we have to work, work through. Usually people are waiting for another person to save them from themselves. When your higher self has been whispering in your ear, creating some type of cognitive dissonance, which is, it doesn't sit right. So it may create some type of anxiety within you because your 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 um, higher self is telling you within, you can save yourself. You can save yourself. You are not really trapped. You The power or everything that you need, you already have. And then the low vibrational you or your shadow or your ego is saying, I have nothing. I'm this, I'm that, I'm that. So it's like a constant battle. Let me find out y'all on the same page in a particular area in your life. Well, for a lot of you guys, it's for a lot of areas in your life, but this is growth, okay? This is growth. You should be happy. Definitely should be happy. I'm going into the sacred destiny for two more cards. And then I'm gonna give you guys an energy reading, okay? I'm thinking about adding this type of reading in for um, the special. I couldn't do the special. Uh, you guys are wondering, I did say I was going to do special for Black Friday, right? And then I got schooled by a high priestess <laughs> about the real meaning of Black Friday. And I could not do my ancestors like that. So I said, forget it. I'm going to have to do this special on a, a Saturday. And it's not the Black Friday special. It'll be the butterfly special, okay? <laughs> so I was like, you know what? I am not. I can't do that. No, no, no. I am my ancestors' keeper. Just like they keep me. I wish I would. I wish I would. Okay? I wish I would. All right? Got me fucked up. All right? Shoot. Man, I ain't buy nothing yesterday but a virtual address. Okay? <laughs> Shoot. I said the sales gonna have to miss me. Not on this date. I kept some sales Saturday or Sunday, okay, or well, Cyber Monday, but uh, I am my ancestors keep them first, first, because they keep me. All right, what messages do we have for Libra? Shout out to all those people who help fix your crown without telling the whole world. <laughs> we got love. love. I just heard you. All right. Libra, I think you're in love. You're falling more in love with you. The flowers represents your beauty. So you're looking more beautiful. Skin looking gorgeous, okay? Skin glowing. But there's a radiance about you. I feel like the affirmation for you would be, I am radiant. I am radiant. Or I feel beautiful. I feel radiant. Because I feel like for myself, when I feel beautiful... Or when I feel confident, 
it's a feeling for me. I'm so in tune with my feelings. I'm like a, a ball of emotion sometimes that I be trying to hide. I know we all probably like that, or everybody probably like that. But when I feel a certain type of way, it just takes over. I'm so intact with my feelings. That's why sometimes it's hard for me to even, if I feel, if I ain't feeling something, you can see it written all over my face. You can hear it in my tone. It's just, it's, I'm not feeling it. And I need to go recollect my energy because if I feel a certain type of way, you probably can see it. I'm not that good with hiding the way that I feel a lot of the times, um, especially in my tone, especially in my face expressions, okay? I may do some things, um, despite how I feel, but I'm definitely going to do it with a stank-ass look on my face or with a crazy tone or something like that, but, or just get real quiet. And that's like a dead giveaway. But I do feel like when you feel, I feel like you're feeling more radiant. You're feeling more beautiful nowadays. Or for, no, this energy has been with us. But I feel like as you're creating this, this energy, as you're creating this dominance in your life, this balance in your life, as you're releasing the things, everything else, but your happiness, the things that don't make you happy. And we talked about the Eight of Cups. So some of you guys are really in that. Like you're really that releasing has taught you a lot about going where you're appreciated and not where you're tolerated. I want to go where a person is interested. I don't want to hound a person down to support me. Okay? I want to go where a person, where I pique a person's interest. I don't want to have to say, hey, could, did you, did you subscribe? Did you, da, 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 did, you did, did you follow? Did you whatever? And which on this whole journey, it lets me know that the people who support you and love what you do, they, they're going to support you, okay? Um, I don't want to have to force a person to love me. And I'm in this state where that person, that, that, that man, that woman is just going to love you. You don't have to force love out of a person. You don't have to force um, quality time out of a person. You don't have to force a person to contact you. They're going to do it, okay? They're just going to do it. Like, you come, come into this space of freeness, of ease, of things happening easy for you. We used to have to pull people along on our journey because sometimes the people that we want on our journey are, are people that don't want to be there. And we all have free, free choice. We all have free will. We can be wherever we choose to be. But it hurts for us because sometimes we would go there with you on your journey. We've been there with you on your journey. We've been your cheerleader through your journey. I don't necessarily have to like what a person's doing or, you know, be interested in, in whatever it is you're selling for me to support you. And that's just how we set up. So I feel like we're going into this, this we're going into this new phase where we're seeing people who look like us in the midst of our healing. And if you are in a situation where you're still getting encounters of people who are bringing you to this like runner chaser mentality or you got to pull people or stress people out to come in your life, then there is work that needs to be done. There, there's more healing. And that's what God in the universe is showing you that you still need to heal these areas because you should. I didn't bring you here to force people to come with you. I brought you here um, in a tribe that you belong just because. You are you. You know how many comments I get from people saying, just thank you for being you. And it, it makes me cry. Y'all make me cry on the daily. Like when I read the, that's why I read the shit that y'all send me. Trust. Sometimes I get in my emotions. I, I start to cry. I start to feel like really, really full because we all do need that outside validation. And some of you guys have said things to me that I haven't even heard from my family. You know, I haven't heard from my family. I haven't heard from people I've dated, I've been in love with, I've been in relationships for years. Some of you guys that don't even know me have said those things that I've needed to hear. And I'm pretty sure that you guys come here and I, I probably say those things that you need to hear. So I feel like we're coming into this, this area of ease where we don't have to force anybody in our lives, okay? We don't have to force a person, person to support us. It's there. It's there for you. It's here for you, okay? <clears throat> yeah, that's, tell me more about love. God, that was just almost made me tear. Mm. Tell 
taking risk, soaring, purification. Don't it feel good? Oh, see what taking risk. See, oh, you thought it was going. You thought she was jumping in the darkness. That's how spirit likes to play. That taking risk. But some of you guys. I feel like love is hitting you so fast right now and you just have to take a leap of faith and open up and become vulnerable. And in this opening up and you becoming vulnerable, you're going through a rebirth phase, a rebirthing phase, a purification phase, okay? Where you are becoming new. Also, look at this flower. Look at this beautiful sunflower. And I just seen some beautiful sunflowers and giant. And I should have got them. But my little brother allergies, like they, they be tearing him up. Mm, sunflowers, for some reason, they just tear him up. Uh, I might have to bring him up, just keep him in my room or something. But um, your beauty is your light. You're glowing. You're glowing with love. Oh, that sounds like a beautiful title. Glowing with love. I feel like the risk that you have to open up, and I don't know why this is just like opening up and exposing like the heart chakra, exposing all of your vital organs and then all of the things that need tender and care, all of those things. I do feel like vulnerability, being open with yourself, being open in your relationships, just being a little bit more open, taking that leap into vulnerability. And I feel like this is you being vulnerable with people that you do love. I do feel like there could be a, a relationship. I feel like there can be a relationship that you have to be vulnerable and open up in. I feel like for some of you, you haven't even been vulnerable with yourself. You got to look in that mirror and tell yourself you love you love yourself. Tell yourself how beautiful you are. Tell yourself how strong you are. And really look into your eyes. What's at the bottom of this deck? Gateway. This is your gateway to happiness. Vulnerability. Some of you guys are going to be leaning into that more. All right? Leaning into that more. Noticing that there's a time to be open and there is a time to protect. Being flexible, being able to move through that with ease. And in order to get through that, there's a learning of chakras and things like that in your body and, and, and getting really, really in tune and alignment with you. Before you can align yourself with anything else, I feel like you need to be in alignment with you, okay? All right. If this resonated with you, make sure you give this reading a big thumbs up. I'm going to go into a quick energy read. And then I'm going to get you guys out of here. I'm not going to keep you too long on your Saturday, okay? I know y'all got leftovers and things y'all need to tend to. <laughs> I already know. I already know how I go. All right. Messages. Wow. We got the real world coming out. The railroad forecasts a long journey. Look at the bride. Somebody's looking at the bride. Oh, somebody's thinking about being with you for a long time. A long time. That's what I could think of right now. I don't know about you. He's called shuffling like he should. Okay. All right. You got three coming out, okay? It's a small world. You never know who's who. If it's me, then it's you. If it's you, then it's me. If it's me, then it's you too. I'm happy here. Hello. Well, welcome. Okay. There's somebody who feels totally in sync with the person. Like they feel like that they go through the same thing. This could be someone at work. 
all right? Be mindful about gossip at work, okay? Um, I could also feel like there could be a person that could be, like, running back. Like, there's a running back. <laughs> I never know this. Oh, yeah, yes. There's a girl with big booty who has vampire energy. She's a vampire, all right? There's somebody, um, or it could be a man, a man with a big old booty. Hey, you know they be having those. Y'all need to send a, send a squat exercise. Come on, what y'all doing? Send the regiment through, okay? But there's a, there's a person who has vampire energy. They come to take your energy. However, when they can't touch your energy, since they can't touch your energy, they get upset. It it like returns to sender, sender and they feel drained. They even may feel sick. So if you work be and you got these co-workers around you, pay attention to those people who go home sick. <laughs> this could be in the work environment or a person who just keep coming down with the cold or something like that. And it has nasty ass energy. I'll be throwing this around just because there's some shit going around nowadays, but... The best way, the, 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 the quickest way for you to get sick is to have messed up energy, to be in this ease in your own energy. All right. Make sure y'all take your vitamins. Your type. Somebody's your type. Cry this week. Cry this week. I feel like somebody is going to be going somewhere. You have cry. This week, and dress the part. Somebody is going to be, I feel like you're going to be honored or you're going to be taken, wooed or taken out on a date or something like that. Like, make sure you get dressed now. You was thinking about buying the, like, you was thinking, looking at something like, I wonder some nice date night outfits and get those outfits. Get those outfits. I told you I was in a good mood, didn't I? Didn't I? First, I was a little down. I thought I had gained five pounds, but it wasn't. It was it was just the water. Okay, it was a little bloat. It wasn't. We back. All right. <laughs> I was like, no. So I'm back. All right. What else do we have for Libra? Oh, expectation. Adjudication here. I feel like you're expecting something in the mail or a message. Could be from a mature man or something like that. You're expecting something from someone. Go into the tinsel for this energy. I say that's the big booty person that's mad. <laughs> right, let me stop. Okay, so tell me more about the railroad. So pack your bags. You've made a decision to, to go on a long journey. All right. Oh, you made a decision to go into a new area in your life, to embark on a new journey in your life. Okay. With this page of pentacles, you got the two of wands, the two of swords, and a page of pentacles here. You made this new you made this decision to embark on this journey, okay? This is going to be a long journey. You're going to be here for a while, okay? Um, this is a new opportunity. You probably are moving in a new direction. Here, all the love is here. You get your flowers here, okay? You get what you deserve here, okay? What else? You got the strength card, okay? 
inner strength, inner wisdom, also confidence. There's also a fiery complex about you. And also, I do feel like that there is a person who's admiring you. Like you have an admirer. All right, a secret admirer. Okay. Um, yes, you got an admirer, a secret admirer. Somebody is smitten by your energy. Like they just love your energy. Like you are a true empress, empress to them. You give them heal, healing information or just a healing aura or there's just something that keeps them coming back for more. You fill them up, okay? What's crossing this? All right, you got the high... Oh, you lifting the veil on that. All right, so somebody is looking at you and you're going to start to see how a person feels about you. Wow, this... So someone is going to meet someone in their line of duty or while they're on their line of duty, okay? I feel like there's a certain type of energy that you possess on this journey and someone is going to meet someone. Once you take the road or you take the leap of faith to go in this new direction, to pivot into this new direction, that's when you meet this new person or this new situation that's very, very fond of you, all right? You got the high priestess, you lifting the veil. It could be secret. You got the secret admirer. It's not going to be so secret anymore, also, I feel like someone has been watching you for a long, long, long time. And look at that. You got the eye. And then we got the bride. So I do feel like this could be a love connection. Um, something could have been happening, transpiring at work or on the route to work, on the travel to work. I do feel like you could have been a little bit confused about this. But if you're going to be, if you're confused about how a person really feels, you're going to be lifting that veil in the next couple of days. And you're going to be surprised how this big beast feels about this empress. Feels about you. All right? Tell me more it's a, about it's a small-ass world. You never know who's who. If it's you, then it's me too. If it's me, then it's you. And I'm happy here. What are we trying to say? Knight of Swords. Hmm. Somebody's running into you fast. I could say, I'm knowing 80 and the 60 on the ticket because I ain't had that. All right, that used to be my, my song. I forgot how it go. I'm on the way. Somebody's on the way. I feel like somebody's speeding to you. They happy with you. They love you. Somebody wants to change your life. I also can see a lot of travel too, like some type of travel or a staycation, home away from home type of thing. But somebody is speeding. Somebody is magnetically. Also, the, the Knight of Swords. You got Knight of Swords, Six of Cups, and the Wheel of Fortune. Um, the Knight of Swords signify magnetic attraction. You ready? Your heart's open. You're ready for the ride. You're trusting it. You got the Wheel of Fortune and the Fool. You may be seeing 1010. Um, there may be an unexpected call or unexpected visit from somebody. Either way, somebody is speeding to you. Like, they're also in their mind thinking about you a lot. All right, what's crossing this? Yeah, the Knight of Wands. They want to take you to a place. Somebody could want to take you on a trip, take you somewhere that you've never been. All right. It may get down to like, they may say you can bring a friend or something like that. Yeah, but somebody wants to take you on a trip that you've never been. Okay. Oh, I'm also seeing a ghost here. So don't be surprised if somebody from your past could be speeding up to you right now. And they probably going to offer you like, let's go on a trip. Somebody while they were ghosting you, they shined a light on you. They, they looked back into your life. They've been, been nosy. And they was hit by your empress energy. Mm. Or somebody seen you somewhere fully in your essence because you've been doing a lot of work. There's somebody who has been, who left a relationship or went through something, went through a period of darkness, okay? Or went through a period of seclusion or isolation. 
and somebody got a glimpse of you as you were coming out of that period of isolation, as you were ready to let your, let, let your skin get kissed by the sun again, okay? Get a little sunlight. And they got a glimpse of you and your empress energy, okay? This could be somebody from your past. But this could also be somebody new who's very, very magnetically attracted to you, all right? Um, they also got a glimpse of your empress. They, they, they was already looking. I felt like this new person, they knew, it, they knew it inside that you were an empress or emperor. They knew it inside already. They followed their inner wisdom about you and... As it as it as it comes out more and more each day, they feel like I, I love it here. <laughs> I made the right choice. Okay. Tell me more about your type. Ah, right, you got the hierophant. This person's very, very wise. Very wise, has a lot of wisdom. We got the five of cups coming out. I'm gonna look into that. All right. There's somebody that's ready for love. Tell me more about this Five of Cups energy with the star cards. Given like, all right, six. Oh, they're in the Five of Cups. So this is a person who you could have dated in the past. They're in the Five of Cups. It's giving karma. Ouch. Are you their type? I told you somebody looking at you and they see you illuminated as a star. In the inner wisdom. So, so somebody always knew you was the star. So the inner wisdom that they always had, now they're acting upon it. Hmm. They got to. Because you're a hot commodity. You have options out there. You are the star. Tell me a person that don't want to get next to a star. Uh, tell me somebody who don't want to get next to a star. That's why stars have that type of transition. That's why they got it. They grind. At first, ain't nobody listening. Ain't nobody watching. They start off at the bottom. And then they get to this stardom fame. Even those people who we think have like overnight celebrity, overnight like, um, Glow ups like Cardi B, our, our fellow Libra sis. Hey, Cardi. Um, even those people, they grind. People laughed at her. People made fun of her. People, it was a person that didn't give her a shot, never seen the light in her. Sometimes when you are a natural born star, God will place you in a place where people don't know this about you. They can't see your light because you must know who they are. Before they truly know who you are. Okay. Somebody could miss out on their shot. Just depends on where they are. They are very, very wise though. I feel like they've been very, very wise about you. Okay. Tell me more about expectation. They could be expecting you to call. Somebody is expecting some type of communication to be a complete failure, a tower moment, or some travel or a trip, something like that to be a tower moment to ruin a lot of things. But sit back, stop worrying. Somebody's upset. Somebody's real, real worried about um, a phone call. Somebody's real, real worried about having a conversation. Somebody's real, real worried about it. Here the saying, don't trip over this. You got the sun. Sun is canceling out. It's almost like flames to me. Don't trip. All things are going to work out for the best in these sunflowers. Get you some sunflowers if you can. All right. What's crossing this? The 10th, the Wheel of Fortune. Okay. I feel like things have been hard in the past, but they won't be. I do also feel like there could have been a lot of drama. But remember about your energy. Your energy is the energy of the sun. There could have been some jealousy, some drama surrounding a, a certain type of area in your life, but your energy is the energy of the sun. This could be from some type of queen of cups. 
There could be a Queen of Cups that's hiding something that has a type of secrets here. Um, Queen of Cups, what's that? Cancer. Could also be a Libra too. You got the Emperor. Oh, that's why. Don't worry. You call the shots. Don't worry about something. You call the shots. Okay? You've been waiting for, to call the shots. It's your turn. It is your turn, Libra. Okay? All right. I'm just going to pull one of my sacred oracle, well, no, sacred rebels. I'm going to pull a card from the sacred rebels oracle, and then we're going to get you guys out of here. Thank you so much for watching. I will have information about the um, special coming up shortly today. I just got to get everything together. Um, where is this deck? Okay. Let's go into the sacred rap bowl. Oracle deck, all right? Closing message for Libra. What is the closing message for Libra? Okay. Going beyond normal. Going beyond normal is the message, all right? Let me read from the book here. It says, on the path of life, there are deciding moments where we can choose to go with the mainstream or we can dare to take a bolder, more authentic and trusting way, even if it seems riskier or less safe, to rely solely on logic and science without incorporating the mysterious and magical is a recipe for an existence that is far too dry. The sacred rebel within our hearts will always choose a juicier approach to life. You are currently approaching such a choice point. You could say that the choice is about balance. It is less about choosing to honor either art or science, gardening or, or, or architecture, and more about integrating all approaches so that you enhance rather than hinder your life's journey. Placing science or architecture above all else skills, all Above all else skill, um, no, that's why. Placing science or architecture above all else kills all the rebellious heart. Study fast relying on logic, proof, and a complete set of plans to measure and dictate outcomes will suffocate the soul. Basing decisions on limited factors with an imbalanced measure of success is unnecessarily limiting. This approach prevents us from living freely, spontaneously, and with trust so that we can rebel against the need for things to go strictly according to plan. Choose to value decisions based on passion and instinct and trust in life enough to embrace it as an adventure and let it unfold as it will. It is a time and a place for logic, strategy, planning, and measurable outcomes. These are not bad tools to have, but we must be vigilant not to worship them or allow them to squash our less rational but equally valuable decision-making tools, intuitions, feelings, and those things you know without knowing how you f not without knowing how you know them. The flowing inspirational energy of the heart may have no conceivable basis in logic or reason and still be uncannily accurate. To remain rebellious, we must not sacrifice the art of emotion, instinct, passion, and intuition for the science of logic and strict planning. On the other hand, gardening and art do provide us with a plan, 
albeit more loosely held. This plan still requires us to set aside time to draw upon reliable methods and to prepare with certain tools. However, there is also a healthy dose of organic flow, responsiveness, and trust in the creative process of bringing something to life. This leads to cultivation of the most beautiful, abundant, and successful garden and the most vivid healing art. You're being asked to stay open to the intuitive approach in your life, your work, your creativity, as well as your spiritual journey. The intuitive approach can be likened to the method of a gardener or an artist. There's a sense of what might work where a loose, where an and loose or even detailed plan, but how the plan is carried out would depend on and respond to the flow of its surroundings. There is no need to control the situation, but rather a desire to nurture an idea to fruition. You have many pressures around you from the world or from your own conditioned nature to do things according to the rules, to a deadline or to the accepted mainstream view that you need a well thought out plan for success in a commercial venture. However, sometimes it's best Sometimes the best, best plan is to do what feels intuitively truthful in the moment and to trust that you are being led towards your own growth. Adopting this approach means you have to do far less planning and far more living, okay? Um, this basically is telling you to follow your heart. You are moving outside of the plan, all right? You are living on the border of what's socially accepted. Okay, and this is good. You are living, Libra. You are living, okay? I hope this reading resonates with you. If it does, make sure you give this reading a big thumbs up and make sure you guys are subscribed. I love you guys and I will see you in the next video.